Death is like the wind, always by my side. What's up guys, in today's video I wanted to talk about all the new builds on Yasuo on patch day. So yeah, we're releasing this on patch day because I know all you guys are asking about it. But I just felt like it, to save it, do all the other videos on just testing the new items and have this last big video of all the builds that I think are potentially very good on Yasuo. So yeah, let's get into it. So first, obviously we just have starter items, yeah, yeah. So first build we have is a Gale Force build. So this build... The, re the thing that I really don't like about it though, is that Gale Force is your mythic, right? So this build is going to fall off really hard. But the first item, Gale Force, honestly makes you snowball super hard, right? Like after you complete it, it just does so much damage with the extra dash. So the thing that it is though, it's the mythic. So obviously we cannot go Infinity Edge with it. And no IE late game with Yasuo feels a bit clunky in my opinion. So eh. But yeah, this is going to be good against, if you need that extra dash against like those people who have a lot of range. So think of a team comp like Zeri, Yumi, Kindred, Jungle, right? You need that extra dash because everyone's just going to kite you, especially if you have no knockups. So yeah, Gale Force, and then in my opinion, it's always Bloodthirster second. This item is really, really, really strong. One of the strongest that I think is going to be in every single Yasuo Yom build because it's just very strong. Like, how can you hate this? It's 95 attack damage late game at level 18 that is insane right so yeah that's the premise of the build gale force bt into squishy people who kite you again it's probably gonna fall off just because you can't build ie late game but maybe the extra damage from bt will be okay second build we have i don't really like bork very often on yasuo i would only really do this top lane so think of if you're against like a malphite or a ramus top or just like any tank right Bork is usually what you want. So if you're against those huge tanks, or even if you just like like the split push style, go Bork. Again, only really use this on top lane. I don't like Bork mid lane. There's too much AoE fighting and Bork is not very good in AoE fights. So yeah, we're gonna go Bork into BT into Jack Show. So you just have so much life steal, pretty good attack damage with the BT, and then the Jack Show just makes you insanely tanky. You could also go Bork BT IE, but I mean, at the end of the day, we can all agree that's way too squishy and Yasuo needs that tankiness. So once you get three items on this, it's insane. And honestly, through the whole laning phase when you're risking tanks, this annihilates tanks. So you could even try into bruises maybe, but definitely the best into those tanks. Let's say we're against that Cho'Gath Sejuani top jungle or something like that, or we're just against a Cho'Gath in general. Definitely do this into tanks on top of it. Next build we have is, honestly, I'm going to call this the all-around build. It's good into tanks because Kraken Slayer just does that DPS. It's good into squishies because, I mean, you have 100% crit and a lot of damage. And you have that tankiness. So, honestly, this is just the all-around build. The thing that I don't like about it still, though, is that Kraken only applies to one person. But I guess all most of the builds, this patch is just going to apply to one person. So, you definitely need to, like, wash out. And try to time your kraken when you go in so just really be thinking oh i auto twice then i dash in get that kraken and you like can proc it again right so but yeah this build at three items is insane i think it's really strong i put ie just in case for those people who don't like jack show but honestly probably just get rid of it i think if you're going ie third you're trolling you're just way too squishy you need that tankiness but yeah just gives you the really good damage good life steal but against burst champions it's gonna feel really bad because you have no tankiness until three items which obviously feels a bit awful but that is the name of this patch not many options for anti-burst but we will have one build that we will get to later so yeah again all around build good into all types next build we have is the storm racer build so this one is for people who didn't want the or don't like the gale force build i still think gale force build is probably just better but this is cheaper by 400 and it gets relatively the same amount of damage right the thing is it's not a mythic so going this storm razor into bloodthirster allows us to go whatever you want so if you don't want jack show and you want to go storm razor bloodthirster ie or you can go storm razor ie but again i don't like no life steal so i would go storm razor bt gale force very similar to gale force builds except that you can go jack show so for the jack show lovers very similar to this build 
but you can still go jack show because this isn't a mythic because it does the same job right it gives you that extra movement speed to get onto those range people who are kiting you without needing the gale force and you don't have to worry about only being able to use this every what 90 seconds this is like every five five seconds so similar to gale force might just be better than the gale force build have to see it in a real game so yeah again like i just want to clarify these two builds are very similar or the same type of champions that kite and our sushi if this one you can go jack show this one you cannot <clears throat> and now last but not least we have the eclipse build which i think i tested this out and i think it's really the only option into those people like zed leblanc you're against an evelyn stuff that's really gonna one shot you right so yeah i kind of just did this i can't tell because i'm playing on pv so i can't tell if it's like insanely good or not it felt really good Probably even better on Yon, but the premise of the build is Berserkers into one dagger into Eclipse. So this is the same amount of gold as old Shield Bow, because Shield Bow was 3,400, right? So it's the same gold, we're just mimicking Shield Bow. The only bad thing about it is the shield is a little bit smaller and we have to auto attack and like land some abilities to proc it. But it's insanely lower cooldown than Shield Bow. I think it's 5 seconds, I want to say. It doesn't show on... Tooltip, I don't know why. I think it's like 5, 8 seconds, maybe 10 max. I think it's less than 10 for sure. But yeah, and then we run the build with BT Shield Bow. So this is just like the anti-burst build. We're against those assassins that one-shot us. And Annie, stuff like that. We have the double shield, shit ton of lifesteal. Feels really good. So yeah, just to go over them all again before we get to the situational items. The five builds. Gale Force against Squishies, Mobility. Bork against tanks, usually only top lane. All around builds. Really strong at three items. This, same as Gale Force builds. Except you can go jack shot at the end for those who want to be tanky. And don't up, uh, don't have to rely on the active. And lastly, the anti-burst build. And now, to end all these builds, here are the situational items. So first, we go with the MR items. So let me just do this real fast. Okay. Let me just put this in a... Actually... Yeah, that's good. First, we have the MR items. This Wits End is for the most damage. If you want the most damage MR item they can get, Wits End. If you feel like you're just lacking damage, you want to do some extra magic damage, if they have like a Ramus or something, Wits End feels really good. Most damage out of any MR item. Visage doesn't do any damage, but gives you insane tankiness. If you're going a heavy lifesteal build, see above the like this bolt, a lot of lifesteal, you can end it with a Visage. Just getting all those shields to be even stronger, the life seal, or if you have like a Soraka Ivern on your team, this is very good. Next, we have Maul, which, as you saw in the items above, we can actually go Maul in all of our builds now because we don't go Shield Bow. So, if they're heavy AP, you want that lifeline passive, you can end some of these builds with Maul. So, this does do a little bit less damage than Wits End, but if you want another damage item that gives MR that's a little bit more tanky than Wits End, Maul is your best friend. And last but not least, the last MR item, Force Nature. That actually nerfed this item, gives less MR in total. They're definitely not feeling too hot, but for Yasuo, a lot of team comps, we need the extra movement speed. And the extra movement speed is going to feel very nice. So, again, against those comps that kite heavily, but we didn't want to go Gale Force or Storm Razor, grab the Force Nature for the extra movement speed. <clears throat> also, old reliable Death Stance. This one's self explanatory. This is going to be in all your builds if they have even like 1 to 2 AD targets that are burst heavy. Just the best. Gives attack damage. That OP passive armor. Can't go wrong with it. Best armor item for sure. Then we have GA, which is if you're a little bit more poor on the poor side and your team's actually doing pretty well and there's like one last team fight going up, you can grab the GA just because for that one team fight it's going to be stronger than Death Stance potentially. Yeah, just grab the GA. I usually don't really like this item. I prefer Death Dance. Then we have Random Wins. Very rare item that you're going to go. If you need the extra slow, if people are going to kite you heavily, and if you're against like a Kindred, Trindamir, AD Carry. Heavy crit users, very good against them. Now we have Black Cleaver. Another super rare item that you're going to go. Only go this item if they have a super tanky team and no one else on your team can build it because it at least gives you that tankiness while also shredding 
your opponents, right? That's why I like it a lot more than Last Whisper, because Last Whisper doesn't give you any tanky stats. And at the end of the day, Yasuo needs some HP for that tankiness. The other anti armor item that we have is Moral Miter. Again, as I just said, I really don't like this item, but if you need some anti heal, let's say you're against a Mundo, this item is good, but realistically, someone else on your team should be building it. So, yeah, try to stay away. Try to ask your team, hey, can someone else build it? Because on average, I'd rather go Cleaver if I'm building Armor Pen, just for the extra tankiness. Next, we have if you, have Q if you need to build QSS against Melzahar, Skarner, stuff like that. Silver Mirror Dawn is my go to over Skimitar. Skimitar, you can be using in the builds that you don't get 100% crit in your first three items, which I think is only this build, right? Bork, Bloodthirster, Jack Show. You need that one extra crit item, you can go Skimitar if you need the QSS, if you're against a Malzahar or something like that. But if that's not the scenario, then we are just going this because it's more tankiness again, and tankiness we love on Yasuo. And the passive is better, or the active, I mean, gives you tenacity for like four seconds. Compared to just moving two from Skimitar. Iceborne, honestly, I put this, I've only used this one single time, and it was when I'm against Evain. It's really good into Vayne if you don't want to go, um, if you're going the Jack Show build, or one of the Jack Show builds, you can substitute with Iceborne. Just because, obviously, when you're against Evain, Vayne's just gonna melt through Jack Show. Tankiness doesn't matter, so the slow is gonna help a lot more. I almost never got this item though. And last but not least, we have Sterix. So Sterix is honestly pretty good, in my opinion, because now we can go lifeline, no shield bow. I think it is only better than shield bow though, if you need that tenacity. If you need that tenacity, then I would go Sterix. I need to test more. I honestly feel like shield bow has to be better just because it's a crit item. But again, shield bow becomes a situational item too, because let's say a build, uh, one of our builds, Stormraiser, BT, Jack Show, you want some more damage after, then you could go Shield Bow for the anti-burst, you know? So, yeah. This, if you want more damage than the Sterix. Sterix, if you want the Tenacity, basically, is the rule of thumb. And now, let's talk about the items that did not make it even into Situational. So, this item, first of all, they ruined the appearance of this item hella bad. I can't be the only one to think this. I am very sad that they ruined. That looks awful. But anyways, hopefully they change it. This item I thought was going to be insane. I was like, this is going to be the go-to. Best build on Yasuo. But at the end of the day, it feels very weak. The build path isn't even good. Doesn't build out his zeal anymore. And it's just a worse Storm Razor. Like Storm Razor scales way better because it actually scales with AD. This doesn't. The only thing that this thing has is that it's AoE. But... I mean, I'd rather have the more damage from Storm Razor and the extra movement speed from Storm Razor. So hopefully they buff this item up because I just don't think it has any room or there's any room in Yasu's build for Static Ship. RIP 2023 Static Ship. Next we have PD. They buffed it a little bit, gave it some more attack speed. At the end of the day, it's just way too much attack speed. We don't need that much. Don't think this item is ever worth going because... Again, just better options out there. Better crit items like Shield Bow, Kraken, Bloodthirster. No real room for this item. Navori was made a mythic. I guess maybe if you want a bunch of wind walls, but at the end of the day, I don't really think that's really worth it. Just sounds like a for fun build. Obviously, there was never a time when Yasuo went Navori over IE, so why would we do that now? Right? They didn't change the item. So don't look at this item, not worth it. And this one, Rageblade. Rageblade, a lot of people thought it was going to be good, but it's just, it's not a Yasuo Yoda item. Their passive doesn't give enough damage with it anyway, because they like fixed a bug on it, or not a bug, but the double crit doesn't give more damage or something like that. So it just feels like you're way too squishy and the on hit is really awkward. I've even tried it with like Bork, Rageblade, and it's just overkill, man. You need too many things for it. It's not worth going at all. But yeah, I would say those are all the builds. Oh, and last thing I want to talk about was actually Zeal. So you can still go this item. I'm just going to put it here just so we can look at it. Um, like P. Zhang probably will still go this item because he loves Zeal. But at the end of the day, they nerfed it. They lowered the movement speed on it. And they made it cost even more gold by 50. 
So it's not that big of a nerf, but honestly, I was already on the fence about Zeal. So in my opinion, I wouldn't go it. I think it's bad. And yeah. Yeah. This is what I think are going to be the main five builds. And again, went over all the situational items. Think about the game and build appropriately. But yeah, try out these five builds situationally in your games and let me know how you guys think. Also, if new builds come into play, like Zuko does something or P Zhang, something like that, we will definitely do a video on it. But this is what I think are the best five builds. I want to get a video out for something on the day of the patch so you guys aren't completely lost. So yeah, no bullshitting, no clickbait. Five best builds on Yasuo. Yasuo. Try it out on the Rift. Let me know. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.